here on Ice Time TV, and I'm joined by the father I wish I had, Todd Kelman, GM of the Cardiff Devils, back-to-back -back champions. And uh, Todd, four years down, it's been a pretty good return so far. Yeah, it's been a, it's been an amazing ride, and uh, I mean tonight it was one of those games where like. The guys probably, you know, like it's it's tough when you put everything into a game to win the championship to come out two days later and play a game. But um, we actually gave a good run at it. It was actually a pretty exciting game. So, um, but yeah, I mean, amazing. What what can you say about it? This, the job that the guys have done, the job that Andrew Lord's done. We took a championship team, we tweaked it a little bit, and and brought in a, a, a handful of guys that that improved us. And and this is, I would say, this is the best uh, the best year of the Elite League. And uh, and the finish on top is it's an amazing feat and uh, and you know hats off to the guys the, to the teams the Manchester Storm, uh, Belfast Giants the teams that we've been really down to the wire with they had a great season as well. You played Super League and you say this is the best uh, year of the Elite League. Is this the best year of British ice hockey and have the Cardiff Devils come out on top? I think it is. Um, the Super League was a different era. We, you know when you look back and you're like, well, it was all imports pr pretty much, but we also played three line hockey pretty much, right? And and we're playing four line hockey. We've got where it's way more professional now. You think of the commitment we have from from players, but also the off ice staff we have. You have strength and conditioning coaches. It's it's way more serious, and and I think it. I think um, you know teams take it way more seriously. It is a business. The, the elite league itself is has been successful. We've had we've got 12 successful teams now, um, and and you know what? It's it's. I think it's going from strength to strength, and and, and you know you always want to say it's the it's the best it's ever been when you come out on top and. But I think it, it took a, a step up from last year, and and uh, and yeah, and to come out on top, it's it's, it's amazing. Uh, you tell a lot of good stories on the gantry and in the bar, which we don't get on camera. Tell us about Belfast on Friday night, and uh, what happened when Andrew Hotham scored that winning goal. Oh my goodness, I I was you know I was, I was standing up there with uh, Steve Thornton and Robert Fitzpatrick. Uh, Robert's uh, the, the 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 CEO of the Odyssey Trust, and and Steve obviously runs the Giants, and I'm, I'm very good friends with both of them, and and they were sort of outlining to me sort of what you know what would happen if we won and and I didn't really want to think about it and then I saw Andrew score and I just kind of left I just bolted and I think Thorts probably saw me move quicker than he's seen me move in about 15 years so um, it, I, you know hats off to Belfast I, th I thought they they gave us an opportunity to celebrate they did it the right way they brought a champagne I mean they were really cool about it and that's how it should be right and and uh, and we tried to give them their moment when they were here in Ice Arena Wales and I think every team deserves that you should always have the trophy to celebrate when you win um, you should always have champagne on the ice. You should have your friends and family that are celebrating, and that's what we have here today. Um, I asked you this last year, but it's a question that never gets old. Tell me about Andrew Lord and just how important he is. Yeah, you know what? I watched my interview from last year. I knew you'd ask me that tonight. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, it, it's, it's. I, I don't know what else the guy could do. You know, he wins it as a player coach, which is nearly impossible. He becomes a bench coach, and he's actually made the team better. And and. I love his heart and soul, the way he plays. I would love to have an Andrew, I've said it before, I'd love to have an Andrew Lord coaching an Andrew Lord because he would be, he brings so much energy to the room every day, but he brings so much commitment. And and um, it's very easy to stand back and, and never ever worry about the hockey side of the business and, and, and worry about selling tickets and sponsorship and all the things that, that make a business tick over. Um, and, and I can just, I know that I'm waking up, whatever time I'm waking up worrying about the Devils, he's been up an hour earlier than me worrying about it. and and. And he knows the game well. He he's a student of the game, but he never quits. And and if every team out there thinking, you know, I'm going to get up at six and watch video, Andrew's probably been up since five. So, uh, when you put the banner that end of the rink next season, how about putting 71 up there? Yeah, he, he didn't play long enough. You know, <laughs> let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves here. He only <laughs> played for uh, three years, didn't he? Yeah. What have you done for me lately? No, exactly. No, no. He. I mean, it's it's pretty cool though. Like. It's it, we always talk about. We talked about it this afternoon. Actually, we were, we were saying like, think of where we came from. And you know, this isn't a 20-year journey. This is a four-year journey. Think of where we started. Think of, you know, the guys always bug me. I always talk about like, the, the old rink, and and we had a nice office in town, but we had this old big blue tent, and and I actually got rid of the office in town and put a porta cabin outside the the big blue tent because. I wanted the office to reflect the rink. I wanted to be at the rink, but I didn't think we deserved a nice office. And it was rough and it was grungy, but it was our rink and we and we had success there. And then we moved to this beautiful new building and people thought, oh, can they play on Olympic ice? How, do they, how can they find another thousand fans? Well, we did. And we've had back-to-back -back championships our first two years in Ice Arena Wales. So it's been amazing. And you know what? Um, I think as an organization, we do things the right way. We try to. Um, you know, we don't. We, we fail sometimes at it, but we try most of the time to do the right thing. Um, and I think our fans 
believe in us. I think our fans love the job that we're doing for them. We have a great fan base. They came back with open arms, uh, uh, you know, our first year, and they've and they've been coming back ever since. And the good thing is, there's a lot of fans that that they don't they don't think about the John Lawlesses and Shannon Hopes, and we've got a whole new crew of fans that their superstars are Joey Martin and Andrew Hotham. And, uh, and, and that's what I love to hear, a whole new generation of, of fans that we're making Devils fans for life and, and, uh, and that's, what, that's what it's all about. And I, I, love the, I love that we gave the fans that have been here forever two championships um, and, and the fans that have only been for two years two championships. But most of all, one of the proudest things I, I think this, this, of, about this team is I think every new recruit we had had never won a pro championship. And, and that's something, at the beginning of the year, you know, when we signed these guys, we said, you want to win? Come to the Cardiff Devils. And, uh, and we win, and we win a lot. And, and that's something, the words weren't uttered there for, for you know, five years ago. Cardiff Devils never talked like that. But um, it's been a hell of a run. I'm very proud of, of my guys. I'm, I'm extremely proud of the job Andrew Lord does. And, uh, and you know what? I, I hope this interview goes out. And, and we, we, you know, they're not here enough but we love them and the owners are such a big part of what they do. You, you talk about four guys that think about the Devils probably more than we do. Um, <laughs> and, and you know, like we, we, we're constantly in touch with them. Any of the fans that have ever come in, in, into contact with them, it's a different ownership group, right? We, I mean, we're, we're a different crew from top to bottom and we do things different and, and, uh, and I love them. And, and, and the, the energy they bring reflects all the way down through me, through Lordo, through the team. Uh, we don't have it, you know, like we don't have it in other teams because it's, it's, it's something special and, and what they bring is, is something unique and, and something that I think every team would, would love to have, an ownership group like we have. Just finally, Todd, because your champagne's getting warm. The biggest one, well, one of the biggest cheers of the night was when you mentioned the word uh, dynasty and, and you said that it felt like the Devils were maybe in the middle of one. Um, the work doesn't stop here. Enjoy tonight, but, you know, for you and the club, you, you just continue to raise the standards and go again. Yeah, you know what, like the word dynasty, it was, I got to be honest with you, I hope like no one clips that and then shows it to me next year if we don't win the league or something because I was actually trying to fill some time because they told, <laughs> they told me Luke Piggott, uh, they told me Luke Piggott had to get dressed from, he was coaching behind the bench tonight, he had to get his equipment on. But, but really, it is something you think about, right? Like, I always think of like, the first, the first championship I ever watched uh, in hockey was, I was, I was four years old and, and I started watching the New York Islanders when they were right in the middle of their Stanley Cup, the four in a row. And, uh, and I remember my dad explaining what a dynasty was. He goes, you can win back to back, but a dynasty is more than two. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a near impossible feat, but if there's a team that I think can do it, I think it's us. I think that's a great note to leave it on. Todd, it's been another uh, brilliant season. It's not over yet, but thanks as ever for joining us on Ice Time TV. And if the owners are watching, I didn't buy the Bollinger. I know it's expensive <laughs> champagne. <laughs> Somebody gave this to me tonight. All right? That's Steve King's uh, bar tab there. Thanks a lot, Steve. We're all enjoying it. All right. Thanks, Todd. Yeah.